have the ceiling done in here, so we're gonna start trimming out and putting steel up here um, in this shop. Um, but the first thing is we gotta finish out the trim around the uh, doors, because they are putting tracks in for all the garage doors. Um, so I'll show you how we do that, or that we're gonna do it on this one. I don't like using a big, huge, flat piece of uh, metal across the top of the doors, because I think it just looks um, it doesn't look that good to me because it's a lot of ripples in it and it's almost impossible to get it perfect. So we'll take you through how we're going to do it on this building. You can get one piece door trims. Um, that's not what came here. So I just have an L6 fascia. So that means this is six inches. I'm just going to set this here. Mark it up there. And then it's going to get tucked in behind. So you can see. That's going to create a nice clean finish. This is where they will mount their door track to right here. And then there will be a piece of uh, door trim that goes here. So you won't see any of this um, corner right here. And then we're going to take flat stock and we're going to continue that all the way up uh, to where their door track goes to. And then we will have J channel on both sides taking our steel through. In there. And then that'll go. The L will go, hold on, Jake. That's gotta go in there. this up first, but. You went all the way across there. All right, so what we just did um, was covered this part where this block needs to be, and then the part where the tracks are gonna run with just flat, color-matched uh, steel. Um, that way, it looks nice and finished when they attach the rail to it, and then it'll be corrugated steel everywhere else.
make sure your seam's tight. All right guys, so if you don't do a one piece inside corner, you can just run one of your square bases all the way in. And then what you have to do is you have to um, take out one inch on the bottom and the front and then just put a little angle cut. And then it just slides in there just like so. So take one all the way to the corner, notch an inch out, make a little bit of an angle slide it in there, that's a two piece inside corner. All right, your top needs to go towards the wall, towards the corner. All right guys, so this is an inside corner um, trim. You can get this in six inch or four inch. Um, it's just one way to uh, make a nice clean corner. Some guys use J. Um, if I can, I use this, especially on these big corners. I just think it looks nice. Got it in there? Yep. You want me to get uh, mine where yep. they need to be? Yeah, we'll 
hope we're gonna be alright. Well, we have two sides done. As you can see, except for above the garage doors, we did put some flat um, steel down low and up high. So, as well, just ran flat steel all the way up. And this is so they can attach their track to this. Um, there's something solid behind there they can attach to. That's why it's nice and finished after they put their track on. Because once that track's on, you can't take it off easily to finish this off. So we ran that up. The spring will all run across there. So they'll have the tracks will run all the way up to there. And then they'll have something in the center that the uh, um, bar for the garage door opener sits on with the springs. And then we'll come back in and we'll put our steel in here and above um, I, i'm just a little leery to put it on here yet because i don't know how fast um, their garage door is going to angle out to clear my steel so i want to make sure they do that first and then i can put my steel down as far as i can um, without it hitting the door so this whole side's done this whole side's done except for above uh, the doors we're gonna tackle this side tomorrow. We've got all of our base trim on, set with the laser, with all of our window trims cut and laid out. So we should be able to, we should be able to rock this side tomorrow and then get a bunch of our trims up on this wall. This wall is gonna be a little bit goofy just because um, we have this little flat area up here. But we should have this all done by the end of the week. And then the garage door people, I'm not sure when they're coming, if they're coming the end of this week or next week, um, then we'll come back, put the steel up underneath um, that area. I just like to wait because then I don't have to do something and take it down because, you know, I needed to move it up two inches. And I don't have any of the other specs that I need uh, to do that prior. I will show you. The electrician ran a bunch of wires past here, so we just drilled holes and put grommets in here to run like the door openers, sensors, so all that runs behind the steel in the wall. Just makes for a nice clean look. Protects the wires. You know, you can see this sticks out right here, but once they put their door uh, uh, trim seal on here, this will hold this all tight and you won't see any of this right there. So it'll end up being really nice. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, one thing, the next video we'll be finishing out this, we'll be talking about all the details, finishing around and above the garage doors, which I know a lot of people are interested in. That's kind of a technical area. Um, I'll show you what we do. Um, in this video, you saw we were using the level to keep our panel straight. In the next video, I use one of our layout lasers. Um, so watch that to see how that turned out. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.